All right, guys, today we are starting a new series. Uh, I found this website literally four minutes ago or something. Uh, I can type the Bible and practice my typing, learn scripture, memorize scripture, and do all this stuff like at once um, with this website. I'll leave the link in the description if you want to check this website out. But we're going to start a new plan. We're going to start with the New Testament type from Matthew's Revelation. We're going to type out the entire New Testament, which means we're going to read the entire New Testament. We're going to type it all out. We're going to say it out loud as we type uh, just to help me retain what I'm typing. It's going to be great. Uh, I'm excited to make this series. And yeah, we're starting with Matthew uh, today. We're starting this plan. Let's go ahead and start it up. And my goals for this are to learn more scripture and just have fun with it because, um, you know, I love typing and this is going to be a really great opportunity. So we're starting from Matthew 1. Uh, I don't know how much we'll do in this video, but I'm assuming we'll do one chapter of Matthew. And uh, we're going to start with the genealogy um, of Jesus Christ. And that's what Matthew chapter 1 is all about. So let's go ahead and get started. And yeah, like I said, I'm going to say all this out loud um, as I go. And so if you want to follow along, you're more than welcome. But uh, yeah, my plan is to have this be uncut, just completely raw footage of me just um, typing scripture. So yeah, let's go ahead and get, get going with the book of Matthew. So here we go. The book of the genealogy of Jesus Christ. The son of David, the son of Abraham. Abraham became the father of Isaac. Isaac became the, what the Isaac became the father of Jacob. Jacob became the father of Judah and his brothers. Judah became the father of Perez and Zira by Tamar. Perez became the father of Hezron. Hezron became Hezron became the father of Ram. Ram became the father of Aminadab. Aminadab became the father of Nashan. Nashan Nashan became the father of Salmon or Salmon. Salmon became the father of Boaz by Rahab. Boaz became the father of Obed by Ruth. Obed became the father of Jesse. Jesse became the father of King David. David became the father of Solomon by her who had been Uriah's wife. Solomon became the father of Rehoboam. Rehoboam became the father of Abih Abiha. Abiha became the father of Asa. Asa became the father of Jehoshaphat. Jehoshaphat became the father of Jerome. Jerome became the father of Uzi Uzziah. Uzziah became the father of Jotham. Jotham became the father of Ahaz. Ahaz became the father of Hezekiah. Hezekiah became the father of Manasseh. 
Manasseh became the father of Amun. Amun became the father of Josiah. Josiah became the father of Jeconiah and his brothers. At the time of the exile to Babylon, after the exile to Babylon, Jeconiah became the father of Shiltail. Shiltail became the father of Zeru Babel. Zeru Babel became the father of Abayud. Abayud became the father. I keep misspelling father. It's funny. Of Eliakim. Eliakim became the father of Azor. Azor became the father of Zadok. Zadok became the father of Akim. Akim became the father of Eliud. Eliud became the father of Eleazar. Eleazar became the father of Madhan. Madhan became the father of Jacob. Jacob became the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary, from whom was born Jesus, who is called Christ. So all the generations from Abraham to David are four, David are 14 generations from David to the exile to Babylon, 14 generations. And from the carrying away to Babylon to the Christ, 14 generations. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was like this. After his mother, Mary, was engaged to Joseph, before they came together, she was found pregnant by the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, being a righteous man and not willing to make her a public example, intended to put her away secretly but when he thought about things, about these things, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, don't be afraid to take yourself, take to yourself Mary, your wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit. She shall give birth to a son. You shall call his name Jesus, for it is he who shall save his people from their sins. Now all this has happened that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the Lord through the prophet, saying, Behold, the virgin shall be with child and shall give birth to a son. They shall call his name Emmanuel, which is being interpreted God with us. Oh, no which is being interpreted God with us. Joseph arose from his sleep and did, 
and did as the angel of the Lord commanded him and took his wife to himself and didn't know her sexually until she had given birth to her firstborn son. He named him Jesus. Chapter complete. Average words per minute, 96. Well, with the amount of mistakes I made, it's definitely lower than that. But let's go ahead and review. We had one super streak, two streaks, or 22 streaks. 538 words, 88% accuracy, 96 words per minute. 0.19 minutes, uh, so 19 minutes, I think. I don't know. Interesting stuff. Uh, definitely a unique concept here. I'm really curious how this will work, but this is going to wrap it up for this first um, like episode of this series. Um, yeah, we'll see how this goes. But I'm excited to continue this. This is really cool. Obviously, there's a lot of genealogy happening in Matthew 1. But yeah, very cool stuff. I'm excited for the future of this, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care and peace.